morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Today's video is all about them buns, hun. So we're gonna work into our glutes. Um, this won't be technically a full class, but you can add this on to any mat flow or any class that is posted, because um, we're gonna focus on those glutes. So for today, you will need a mat. Um, you probably don't have a box at home, but if you have an ottoman about that size, that will work too, or if you have a chair that you can go on to, that's just as good. Uh, I have a box, so I'm gonna use the box. Uh, if you do have ankle weights, go ahead and grab those as an add-on for extra resistance. You don't need the ankle weights to feel the effects of the exercise. You're still gonna feel it even if you don't have ankle weights. Um, I do these exercises all the time without my ankle weights and I still feel the burn. So I'm just gonna place my ankle weights on. These are two and a half pounds each, so five pounds total. <clears throat> All right, make sure they're nice and snug there. And then we're gonna start using our box or our ottoman or our chair. We're gonna place our um, forearms down on the box. You're gonna have the elbows shoulder distance apart, and the palms are gonna face up to the sky just to have a little bit of a different positioning with the arms. My knees are gonna be directly below my hips. I have nice neutral spine here. And then on an exhale, I'm gonna take my right leg out to straight and point the toe. Now, I haven't lifted up this hip. I'm keeping my hips square to the ground. That's gonna be key here. My gaze just goes right off the front side edge of the box to keep my head in a line. We're going to exhale as we lift, squeezing the glute. Inhale as you lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Two. Three. Four. My belly button is lifted up towards my spine. I'm keeping my spine neutral as I lift and lower this leg. Seven. Nine, ten. I'm gonna bring the knee back in, and we're gonna go into. I like to call them fire hydrant lifts. I'm sure they're called something else. I just can't remember right now. <laughs> but we're gonna take the knee out to the side, and the, well, the knee and the ankle out to the side. So you're gonna exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. So if you haven't caught on, I'm doing ten repetitions of each. We're going to take the next set up to the ceiling. You're going to take your, you're going to take your um, leg, it's going to stay bent in that 90 degree angle, lifting it up without hiking that hip up. We want to keep those hips nice and neutral, square to the ground. And I have my foot flexed like I have it placed up against the ceiling. And I'm just going to exhale as I squeeze the glute to lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. And then bend the knee down. Give yourself a little break in the shoulders. And remember, while you're holding this position, you're pushing down into the elbows to lift the chest away from the box, similar to when you're holding a plank on the box. So we're not sinking into the shoulders. We're going to change legs here, so the left leg goes out, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
bend the knee in, we'll go into our fire hydrant. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ooh, that side was a lot harder for me. All right, last set with the box. Bring that foot up, bent knee 90 degrees at the knee, and flex foot like you're pushing it up against the wall. Exhale as you squeeze the glute to lift. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bend the knee. Ooh, that side was a lot harder for me. Give yourself a nice little stretch in between. <sighs> and then we will move the box out of the way. So, place it out of the way. I'm just going to move it over here. And hopefully that's not in the way of the video. And we're going to do the side line gluteal series. Again, I'm keeping my ankle weights on if you have them. Uh, you don't need the ankle weights to feel the glutes. All right, our bottom arm goes out straight. You're gonna use your bicep as a pillow. So find that nice positioning, keeping the head in alignment with the spine. I've got natural curvatures of the spine, so I'm not dumping into this lower oblique. I have my hips stacked one on top of the other. My top hand comes down for support. Legs are straight out of the hips here, and toes are pointed. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. I'm feeling it right here in that glute knee. Two, three, four, five, six, and I'm avoiding this top hip going back to get range of motion. I'm not turning out from the hip. I'm keeping that foot parallel and um, with the other foot. I think that was seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and 10. Good. From here, we're gonna bend both knees. So 90 degree from the hip, 90 degree from the knee. And then the top leg goes back out to straight, hip height. We're going to flex the foot forward Lift, lower, and swing it back, keeping the foot flexed. Inhale forward, exhale lift, inhale back, or you can change the breath. Whatever breath pattern works best for you and makes sense. Just make sure you're not rushing through this. Keep it nice and controlled. That was two, three, four, Five, six, again, keeping my natural curvatures throughout the movement, seven, eight, nine, last one, Woo, feel that burn, and then bend the knee, get a little hip twist. And then we will go into the next one. So the next one is called drops. You're gonna swing that leg forward, dead foot. So your foot is just dangling out of the ankle and you're gonna drop for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, drop the knee forward again, get a nice little twist. Woo, feel that burn. Maybe pat out the glute a little bit, give it a little massage. Ooh, it's actually a really nice spine twist here too. Breathing into that glute. All right, bring those feet bent. So we're not done with this side, we're still um, got a few more exercises here. 
Um, you can come up onto your elbow. If you want to stay laying down on your bicep, you can do that too if that's more comfortable for you. Um, but I want to lift up a little bit. So I'm going to lift my heels as high as my sits bone. We're going to do clam as you open and close. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Careful, this hip doesn't roll back behind you. You want to keep it stuck. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now, a modification for that, if you don't want to lift your ankles up, you can have them relax down on the mat and open from here. That's fine too. Just be careful that that hip doesn't go back behind you. You want to keep those hips stacked. Uh, I find that I get more range of motion when I lift the ankles up so I can open and close. And it just keeps it more symmetrical. All right. Next exercise, we're going to do hip circles. So bent knee, 90 degree from the hip, knee, toes pointed. You're going to come forward, up, down and in, circling from the hip. Two, three, ooh, four, five. These are hard. Six, a little wobbly, that's okay. Seven, eight, Nine, last one in this direction. Ten, bring it back here. You're going to push the leg back, come up, in, and around. Kick the leg back, go up, in, and around. Three, four, five, six. Oh, hello. Seven, eight, oops, sorry, cap, nine, and ten. Hi. All right. And then we'll turn it around. Oh, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are. So, laying on our other side, all the way down. Ooh, that's a good stretch through the glute here. <laughs> Arm extends out. You're going to use that bicep as a pillow. Let's just sit there. Good boy. <clears throat> Legs are out straight and toes are pointed. Hand comes down. Natural curvatures of the spine. And then we're going to lift. Remember, keeping the feet parallel. We're not turning out from the hip. <clears throat> Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right, Cat, you're gonna have to move. Sorry, baby. Bend your knees, both your knees, and go on your leg. Oh, okay. Just move him out of the way. He's too cute. All right, sit here. Good boy, stay. All right, so we are going to do our leg back to straight. Flex the foot, you're gonna swing it forward. Lift, lower, swing it back for one. Two, nice and controlled. Three. Maybe noticing how one side is different from the other. Four. Five. Six. Ooh. Seven. <coughs> Excuse me. Eight. Nine. Ooh. And last 10. Last one, 10. Good. 
Give yourself a stretch if you need it. Otherwise, swing that foot forward. Dead foot. And drop for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop that knee forward. Get a nice twist. Ooh, yeah, this side's nice and tight. Pat out the glute. You're going to massage it out. Feel that nice ringing out of the spine. And then we'll prop ourselves up onto the elbow, or you can stay laying down with your head on your bicep. It's up to you what feels more comfortable. <clears throat> Probably up on the elbow is a little more challenging because you have to be pushing down into the elbow, not sinking into this lower shoulder. So my legs are bent, my heels are lined up with my hips. I'm gonna lift the feet up, and we're gonna open and close for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, ooh, this side's harder, three, two, and one. Bring the knees down, and then we'll go into our hip circles, lifting the hip, I'm sorry, lifting the leg hip height, which way we went forward first, up, down, and in. Uh-oh, Cal was asking me to go out. We're almost done, Cal. Open, down, in. Four, five, five more. Six, seven, inhale, exhale, eight, nine, last one in this direction, ten, and then reverse it, kick it back, bring it up. Around and in for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. And then relax it down. Can we pat it up? Good job. At this time, if you have your ankle weights on, you can go ahead and take them off. We're going to get a nice little glute stretch. So, I'll place these out of the way. <clears throat> go into our quadruped position. We're going to go into up stretch, also known as downward dog. So, you're going to place the hands directly underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift the hips. You can adjust from here. Breathing, nice. It's almost, it's actually the opposite of a teaser. It's an upside down V. So getting that back of the leg stretch here, reaching the heels down towards the mat. If they don't reach the mat, that's okay. That's just the goal. Pushing into the hands. <clears throat> lifting the tailbone, hollowing out the tummy, pulling the belly button up and in. On the next inhale, we're going to lift the right leg up, and then we're going to bend the knee, bring the right knee to the right wrist, right foot goes behind the left wrist. Now my right foot doesn't get all the way to my wrist because I got tight hips, so that's okay. So I brought it closer to my left hip, and then I'm just gonna hold this pigeon stretch. My hips are squared, I'm not rolled to one side, I have a nice straight spine. Breathing here for three big breaths. Last one. On this exhale, you can take your elbow 
elbows down to the mat. And three big breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Push up. Tuck the back toes. Lift up. Bring that right leg up. Place it down by its friend. And we'll do the opposite side, lifting the left leg up. Bend the knee, bring the knee behind the left wrist, and the left foot behind the right lift, wrist, not wrist. And then if we'll get into our pigeon. Remember, I'm not rolled over to this side. I have my hips stacked, my spine is nice and tall. Three big inhales here. Now my hands are down on the mat, but I can lift them up if I need to. Depending on your hip flexibility, this may be harder or easier for you. If you'd like an assist, placing a yoga block underneath this hip is a really nice supportive position. If you don't have a yoga block, if you have a pillow, a blanket, a towel that's rolled up, or um, a foam roller, might be nice. And then on this exhale, go down and finding a deeper stretch through that, those glutes. And on this next one, exhale, lift, tuck the back toes, and take that leg high, place it down by its spread, and then we're going to slowly walk our feet to our hands. And then just hang heavy here for a minute, grab opposite elbows, bend into the knees, be kind to the low back, maybe sway side to side, and then nice and easy. And exhale. And that was our It's Just About Them Buns, hun, video. So I hope you enjoyed. Happy Tuesday. And stay tuned for more videos to come. Um, just a reminder, this Sunday we'll be posting our first challenge of the week. So stay tuned. Look for it on Sunday morning. Um, just think something fun to get you guys more involved and so we can see your posts because we miss you. We miss our community. So, yeah, let's, we're all in this together. All right. Have a good day, you guys. Good job.